Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to today's pod class for the Ladies in Waiting series. We're so glad to be here with you today. Good morning. My name is India Williams. I am Christy Wilson. And we are just so glad to be here today because we've got a topic for you. Yes, we do. This topic is going to change your life. Uh, it might be uh, a reminder that some of us need. Mm -hmm. And for others, it might be a brand new uh, revelation for you. But either way, whether it's a refresher or a fresh revelation, we just know that this information is exactly what we need to hear in this season right now. And it has the power to change the trajectory of your life. So yes, Christy, it does. You got to break down for him today. What are we <laughs> discussing on today's pod class? Woo, today we are talking about the power of praise. Woo, the power of praise. Yes, we are. Woo, that's a mouthful. The power of praise. And so yes. before we get into the actual pod class about the power of praise, there's always two things we like to do. We love to always start off in prayer and we love to always remind everybody of the, the resources, the supplies that they might need uh, as they do embark on this journey with us during this pod class. So Christy, you got to break it down for them. What do they need? Well, you know, it's my favorite part. One of my favorite parts. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. So you're going to need something to write with pen, pencil, your phone, whatever it may be, something to write on. It could be, you know, notebook, like I said, once again, your phone, and definitely your Bible. And so it can be a physical Bible. It can be the Bible on your phone, whatever it is. You need those three main things, something to write with, something to write on, and always the Word of God. Amen. All right. Well, we want to give you a few moments. We're going to pause. Three, two, one. All right, uh, to give you some time to go get those supplies. But if you've been listening with us for any amount of time, we know you came ready. You right. came ready before you even pressed play. You had those supplies in place. Because as you know, we don't just do a podcast. We like to do a pod class. class. That's right. And so the other thing we always want to do before we get started is to pray. So mm. Christy, do you mind leading us in a prayer today? Absolutely. Absolutely not. All right. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm ready. Lord, we just thank you so much for this time. We thank you for teaching us and teaching others about the power of praise. Yes. Lord, we know that you are God, our King, and you are holy, Lord. So just lead and guide everything this morning. Lead and guide all things so they're all about you and not about us, Lord. We pray for anyone that's listening that they will receive out of this pod class what you want them to receive. Lord, we pray that we receive what we need to receive as well, Lord. Just lead and guide us into all truth. We love you. We thank you. We plead the blood of your son, Jesus Christ, over this time and say, come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. Just lead us into all truth, honor, glory, and praise. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. It is in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so this particular topic, it really came out of two things. Um, Christy and I, as you know, we are part of the Ladies in Waiting Ministry. And uh, we recently had a prayer time. We had a prayer meeting, some of the members mm. of our ministry. And I mean, it was on fire and what? really what happened in that prayer time was we just started praising God and we saw praise break yokes yes we saw praise change hearts we mm -hmm. saw we experienced we felt the power of praise in a way we really hadn't in a long time to the point that we were like we got, we got to talk about this. Like this mm. is something that more people really, really need to be reminded of or that they need to know about. Mm -hmm. And the other piece was we came across a great 
first of all, it's a great blog, but she had a particular blog post. Mm -hmm. If you're not familiar with the Symphony of Praise, we want to definitely recommend that to you. Uh, that is uh, written by Erica Michelle. All right. So shout out to Erica Michelle of Symphony of, pa of Praise. Or Absolutely. Me, Symphony of Praise. And what she's especially known for through her blog is she has this series called Inscribe the Word Scripture Writing Plans. Um, she also creates these wonderful prayer journals uh, that you can get from her uh, website. So just go to symphonyofpraise.com. And you can um, get some of those. Uh, I just, you know, had started for a while, Christy. Sometimes um, I couldn't take a whole, like, big old chapter. I didn't have a whole lot of time. But focusing on one scripture, mm -hmm. writing it out, reading mm -hmm. it. And she would happen to be a go-to for me. But Christy and I oh, were uh, brought to one of her articles on her blog where she was talking about four truths about the power of praise that we thought really summed up everything that we experienced in that time that we had with um recently had with some of the members of our ministry and so we thought this was a great way to just sum it up and to share these particular points with you with scripture references and then also just with some insight god has given us personally mm -hmm. um so the first one christy that she talked about was that praise gives us access to god Yes. So if you are taking notes with us in the pod class right now, you write that down. Okay. Praise gives us access to God. Yes. And so Christy, what's our scripture reference for that one? Our scripture reference is Psalm 104, 100 verse four. And that's, um, I'm reading the, N uh, the NIV. And so it's okay. Psalm 100, chapter 100, verse four. Because I know when I say 104, I was thinking 104, oh, 100, dot, dot, four. Okay. And I'm reading NIV and it says, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Amen. 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 So amen. when we think about this scripture, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise, give thanks to him and praise his name. Um, it makes me think of the visual of the tabernacle. Yes. During biblical times. And as we know, God lived in the holiest of holy. Mm -hmm. And before you could get to the holiest of holy, you had to go through an outer court and you had to go through an inner court. Mm -hmm. Right. And remember, we learned that um, we learned that many people as they would come through those different courts, they had to make sure that certain cleansing on the outside and the inside was happening because the presence of God was on the other side of those courts. Mm -hmm. And if you went in there and you were unclean outside and inside, you could what? Die. You could die. In fact, <laughs> even the priest, they would tie a rope around the priest's waist when he would go into the holiest of holy just in case the priest died and they had to pull them out pull and them make out. sure they say you know save themselves in the process so yeah but what i love is that i think is a great visual to show us that truly to have direct access to god it is essential to come through with thanksgiving and praise to start with thanksgiving and praise like yes. an outer court in an inner court in a tabernacle um, before we get to that holiest of holies. What about what about you, Christy, when you think about that scripture and how praise does give us access to God? I was laughing over here because as you were talking and you were saying, you know, after I read the verse, you were saying, you know, I was just thinking, I knew exactly where you were going because I was thinking the exact same thing. Yep. I was sitting here thinking about this. I was like, you know what? I'm thinking about the time about the priest, you know, tying a rope around their waist because, you know, you can't come in there any kind of way. Mm -hmm. You know, that speaks volumes to me because, you know, that right there and that reference you gave and that visual mm -hmm. is really telling you, don't come to God any kind of way. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. You know, we are God's children and he loves us, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. start and come to him the right way. We don't have That's to right. be perfect. He's not talking about all of that. He's talking about, you said, you know, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into mm -hmm. his courts with praise giving you access to him come to him the first thing and praise him amen because honestly i, I believe 
praise is the catalyst for everything else that follows. Mm -hmm. You know, it mm -hmm. sets the stage, it sets the tone. You know, you know, like you said, it gives me access to him in a totally different way. Absolutely. So if we so, feel far from him, if we feel like there it is, we aren't accessing him or he's not here, we don't feel like it. I tell you, if you want some practical ways, some really practical ways to incorporate praise yes. into your everyday life, giving you access to God, having you feel closer to him, because you know the word says that he is with you. Yes. You know he's with you, but sometimes you may not feel it. You may right. feel far from him. Mm -hmm. And with that, practical things you can do. Just put on some praise music. Yes. Just put on praise music. Put it yes. on while you're doing your laundry. Put it on while you're driving from place to place, right? Put it mm -hmm. on while you're cleaning your house. Just put that praise music on. And I'm telling yes. you, it's going to start stirring up something. It's going to yes. stir it up. And then, of course, I love this because it's a another visual for me, Christy, about the importance of how we pray. Mm -hmm. if, I'm not saying there's a formula to prayer. But this scripture right here, Psalm 104 says that we should enter his courts with thanksgiving and praise, which tells me when we pray, don't start with your laundry list. Yeah, come on. Don't start with your wish list. Okay. Start with praise. Start with thanksgiving. And then you go into your petitions for others and yourself. Yes. And I believe if we start doing that in our, you know, our prayer process, our communication process with God, where we start off by first praising him in our prayer time, then we start thanking him in our prayer time. And remember, we praise him for who he is. Yes. And we can thank him for what he does. He's done. So if we start off our prayer time praising him for who he is, and that's what I would also encourage everyone to do as we get to know him. Start writing down different things about his quality. Start writing down different things about who he is and use that in those praises. But yes. definitely starting off our prayer time praising him. Then we start thanking him for what he's done. And then we go into the petitions. Yes. Telling you it's going to change the trajectory of your prayers. It's going to change the trajectory of uh, your relationship with God. It's going to change you. And I, that's point ooh. number two, Christy. That is point number two. What's point number two? Praise changes you. And before we get off and, and not to uh, get off this, not to get off of this, but one thing I wanted to say too, to tag on to what you just said about, you know, ending the first thing we said about praise gives you access to God. Um, use your mouth. Mm. Um, meaning that, you know, life of death is in the tongue. Yes. And so that's why I really like this because you know that praise is outward. Oh. You know, and you could be thinking it, of course, but use your mouth. Yes. Like you see, you know, like Andy was saying, put on some praise music, sing your praise music. You know, you're praising him. You know, that is yes. you verbally speaking out praise to God, you know. Yes. Write it down. Absolutely. And then let that translate into your mouth. Speak it out loud because I'm telling you, like she said, the trajectory of your life will change. Let that stuff come through your mouth Hallelujah. because there's no other way. I mean, it's going to change. I mean, Amen. life and death is in the power of your mouth. Hallelujah. If you want to start talking different, praise him. If you want to start thinking different, praise Hallelujah. him. It's with your tongue, change it. Woo, well, let me get at this point. Mm -mm. But yeah, I just wanted to you make sure stay, I said that. No, no, no. Change, you stay you right there. Mouth on it. Mm -mm. You stay right there because that piece goes into this second point we want to really highlight, which it is pray, <laughs> praise changes you. Come on, Jesus. And, and honestly, that's why I believe Psalm 104 in the previous point says yes. what it says. That's I why agree. I think God is so good. He's so awesome. I mean, he's leading us. A, we're doing this. Ooh, come on, a, Jesus. Right, there was an outer court. There was an inner court before you got to the holiest of holy. He was trying to give us opportunities to get ourselves cleansed come on. on the outside and on the inside before we got to him. And come what on. cleanses you, what changes you is praise, praise and thanksgiving. Come praise and thanksgiving is going to change you. And I know because I'm a witness. Me too. I can get up. And I can feel some type of way, not wanting to go to work, all, you know, broke down, busted and disgusted. <laughs> right. and if I focus on that, that's the way I'm going to stay. 
But if I honestly start praising God with my mouth, as you said, and thanking him with my mouth, it starts changing my heart, Christy. It's a change from the inside out. And I honestly believe that's why God in the tabernacle gave you time with the outer court and the Come inner on. court so you could get yourself together get yourself before together. You, you know came to him. Same thing, that praise and that thanksgiving. You can do that before entering in his presence and it's going to change you. And there's a yes. scripture that Christy and I hadn't seen this scripture before. And when we came across it, we was like, wow, this uh, is the visual right here. Come on, here. D, get that scripture. Come yes, on. I was come like, on. I was like, wait, Whoa. what? <laughs> come on. Uh, Proverbs 27 <laughs> and 21. Christy, let's go there. Proverbs, yes. write it down, y'all. Praise right. changes you. Point two, scripture reference, Proverbs 27 and 21. All right. I'm I'm in the NIV with you, Christy. Christy, you want to read that one? Yeah, I got you. Uh, the crucible for silver and the furnace and the furnace for gold, but man is tested by the praise he receives. Mm. And there's another the, version too. What was it? Yeah, and I'm, mine is saying here the crucible for silver and the furnace for gold, but people are tested by their praise. Mm. And there's another version that's too. the niv yeah so i'm gonna, gonna go um, here and i'm to, also let's see here i was thinking about new living translation hold on 27 yes. and was it 27 and 21 mm -hmm. 27 and 21 Yes, yes, yes. That's, it's almost this. Oh, never mind. I'm still in mm -hmm. I'm laughing. So I said, like, wait, I said the same thing. I'm like, oh, I haven't changed my translation. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Proverbs 27, 21. Mm -hmm. Oh, here it is. Woo, yes. Okay. Fire tests the purity of silver and gold, but a person is tested by being praised. But there is another one we're looking for. Mm -hmm. Look, y'all, so, I'm telling you, that's why sometimes it mm -hmm. is the different uh, translations. Of course, they all mean the same thing, but sometimes mm -hmm. they hit you different depending it on sure what your you um, translation is. It does here it hit is. you different. Mm -hmm. King James. Okay. As the fining pot for silver and the mm -hmm. furnace is gold, so is a man to his praise. There it is. King James. I'm looking at it actually right now on my phone. That's it. Proverbs 27 and 21. And as Christy said, the King James in this particular um, verse really hits home. As the fining pot for silver and the furnace for gold, so is a man to his praise. Praise changes us. Yes. It changes us. It changes us. And, and what happens is, as it said, the fining pot for silver and the furnace for gold. It, it, it's almost like God is melting away in our presence, that hardened heart. Come on. He is softening my heart. I'm telling you, I'm talking from personal experience where I went yes. in with a nasty attitude about something or I was real bitter about it. Um, and I just started praising him and thanking him. And the next thing you know, I didn't feel that way anymore. I mm. wasn't that way anymore because I took my focus off of that and put it on him. And remember, we said, I think it might have been the last podcast, we talked about how worship is focus. Yes. Or a few or a few episodes before, but prayer, worship is focus. And so what we are focusing on, we are actually indirectly worshiping it. Mm, yes. We are worshiping it. If you are focusing so hard on it, you know, I'm putting your all into it. And so I'm telling you, when you praise God for what he has done and what he's mm -hmm. doing and who he is and what, what's never going to change about him, which is everything, it's going to change you. Yes. And I love Christy, how you said, and when you say it with your mouth, that's the big piece. And so what we have to do, though, as God is changing us through praise, through our praise of him, mm -hmm. we have to be patient. Yes. Be patient. Show ourselves some grace. We got to, And we just got to keep on praising God through the process until the process is done. And guess what? The process never it's really never is done because as soon as he works on one thing about us and we get that better, then we got to work on something else. And yes. not just that, but it's not just the changing, it's the maintenance of the change. Come on. Mm. It's the maintenance of the change. <sighs> you know, Christian and I was talking the other day about healing. 
many of you know that both of us have gone through miraculous healings recently in the last few, you know, the last year or so. And the thing is, we know that we are healed. Amen. We were wondering why we were struggling with some things. It's because you got to maintain your healing. Yes. And just like as praise changes you, you have the work of maintaining that change. And guess what you do to maintain it? The same thing you did to get the change. Come on. Keep on praising God. Praise him. No matter what, there is always a reason to praise praise him. Hallelujah. Praise him. I hope we can get through this podcast today. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Christy, what is the third point we want to highlight Ooh, to the people today? Come on. What's the third point God highlighted to us? So the first point is praise give access to God. The second mm-hmm. one is praise changes you. The third one is praise is a relationship. It is not a ritual. <laughs> we are not robots. You know, we don't <laughs> I know you're laughing at my face. <laughs> we are not robots. I mean it is a relationship it is not a ritual and i know sometimes you're thinking about you know um you know there's praise you know the praise team there's you know mm-hmm. a, a, an assigned mm-hmm. time of you know of praise and worship in general you know, in church or mm-hmm. for different you know um christian activities mm-hmm. yes that is the assigned time and it's you know it's important that that time is there to usher in the presence of god and yes. praise is what you make it Mm. You know, you can mm. be somewhere in a setting and be praising him, but if you're not feeling it, and because you don't have a relationship with Christ, or you're not keeping your main focus on you, it doesn't mean anything to you. Praise is a relationship. It is not a ritual. It is very personal to who you are and your relationship to him. And Andy, that verse that we have, that you found is fantastic. That Psalm 22 and 3. I know you've got the NIV. If you, if you can read that. And Psalm 22 and 3 mm-hmm. in the NIV. What does that say? That says it up right there. Psalm 22 and 3. Hold on, Christy. Let me get there. Hold up. Hold up. He inhabits the praises of his people. Is is basically the rundown of that. He inhabits yes. the praises of his people. Uh-huh. Yes. But you are holy. O oh, you who are enthroned in the holy place where the praises of Israel are offered. Mm. Okay, so that's the, the the scripture itself. It says, and uh, excuse me, that's the Amplified. Let me go to the NIV. And so the NIV Psalm 22 verse three says, yet you are enthroned as the holy one. You are the one Israel praises. Okay, you are enthroned as the holy one. So, so he is enthroned within our praises. He lives there. Yes. He dwells there. There it is. He inhabits the praises of his people. Okay. Yes, he does. You cannot come on praise somebody that you don't know nothing about them. You have to know something about somebody to be able to praise them. I can't just see some random person. I just I ain't I can't. I don't know them. I don't know what they say. I don't know what they do. I I really can't. Can I compliment how they look? Sure. But as far as praising them, I can't do that unless I know them. Mm -hmm. So the thing about praise is that praise is a relationship and it's not a ritual. It reflects the relationship of the one that I'm praising. Come on. God inhabits the praises of his people. He is enthroned there. He lives there. He is not just living there. He is on a throne. Yeah, there we go. Living in our praises. There we go. It's a relationship. And so the thing with praise is like Christy said, we're not a robot. We're not just going to do it without thinking. We're not just going to, you know, do it because um, it's a ritual. No, it's because it is a reflection of my relationship with God. If you truly get to know him, if you truly, truly, truly want to know him, you start reading that word mm. and you talk to him. The basis of any good relationship is communication. Yes, there it is. So we have to communicate with him and not see prayer as once again, that laundry list. I'm just going through asking God to do all these things for me and for the people I love and X, Y, Z. No, 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 no. We have to start seeing prayer as communication. And as we are communicating to God 
on a regular basis because of the overflow of our heart of just as we get to know him, we just love him more and more. And we can't stop bragging on it. Yes. We can't stop bragging on it. Mm. We can't stop telling people about him. We can't stop telling him about himself. Ooh, now, come on, he Jesus. Is, let me tell you, it's going to change. It's going to change once again, the trajectory we already know. It's going to get you closer with him. Yes. Have a closer relationship with him. It's going to change you. And I'm going to tell you, shoot, praise even change the people around you. They're like, what is going on? Yes. So just know that praise is like you said, Christy, we're not robots. It's not meant to be done as something you check off your list. Right. Absolutely. It is a natural overflow as we get to know God more and more. You just can't stop praising him. You just cannot stop bragging mm -hmm. on him, mm -hmm. even to him. Okay. Yes. And then the beautiful thing is he inhabits, he is enthroned. He not just lives there and, and dwells or dwells, but he is enthroned. He's dwelling, sitting on the throne. Yes. The I love that visual. Praise. I love that Ooh. visual. D, that, that word enthroned. Mm. And it's just a reminder of who he is and where he is. And, you know, if you're on a throne, you think about, you know, the, the power, the might, the glory, the reverence, all of that sitting in him. Yes. And oh, so, yeah, that visual right there enthroned. I was I like, oh, yes, a reminder of who he is. Like I said, so if you need a reminder, like India said, <laughs> of who he is, mm -hmm. the word will remind you of who he is. So Hallelujah. read the word and your prayer time communicating with him. I mean, yes. That sums it up right there. I'm like, whoo, what's this fourth point? Oh, you know, I'm just over here like, whoo, Jesus. <laughs> I know. Let's I'm go. Trying, we trying, y'all, to get through this podcast. We really are trying. I'm telling you, it's it prayer and, and praise, Thanksgiving, it changes you. I it, mean, and it just, it and, it, and, it, and even though it's a process that sometimes that change can, I mean, it's a process. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it's it's a wonderful process. I just love Christy. Just the way that I feel, the difference that I feel when I praise God. Oh my gosh! I and mean, I, yeah, I started I started praising this morning, like when I first got up. Because I mean, I'll be honest with you, it's early. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I didn't have all my sleep, yes. and so I was like, you know, a little tired, a little groggy, you know, feeling some kind of, you know, not feeling bad, just feeling some mm -hmm. kind of way, just tired. Yes. As soon as I, you know, got situated, I just started singing a praise song out of my mouth, and that shifted my brain. Oh. So I was like, oh, mm -mm, I can't come any kind of way about to do this. I said, so I just started singing the praise song. And immediately my brain was like, bam, let's go. Mm -mm. Let's do this. Mm -mm. I mean, so, I mean, like I said, so I, I'm with you. You know, we both definitely have practical applications of it. But I, yeah, I, I used it this morning. I was like, mm -mm, get my mind right. Let's go. I'm about to sing a praise song. You know, yes, in my head, but I'll start singing it quietly out of my mouth. All those things. I was like, yes. And everything is like, bam, shifted. Well, and, and I'll tell you this. Our fourth final point we want to make, even though we could go on and on and on and on. We got 40 point, points though. about the power of praise. But this fourth one, praise defeats the enemy. The enemy of your soul. The enemy within. Let's just Jesus. be real. Sometimes our greatest enemy is ourselves. Is ourselves. <laughs> Come but on. praise defeats the enemy. And we've got a scripture reference for that one. Write it down. Second Chronicles 20 and 22. Second Chronicles. Let's give you some time to go there. Second Chronicles. Okay. It, it's Old Testament, y'all. Old Testament, y'all. <laughs> Just in case <laughs> you need to know. Uh, Second Chronicles right after first and second Kings. Second Chronicles 20 and 22. Christy, you want to read that one? Sure. This is uh, still NIV. Okay. As they began to sing and praise, the Lord set ambushes against the men of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir who were invading Judah and they were defeated. You know what, Christy, if you don't mind, why don't we start from 21? Let's start from, yeah, I was going to say even 20 because I just love this. Um yeah, Christy, we got yeah, time. Let's, do let's that. start at yes. 20 and go all the way again through 22 because this is just powerful. Yes. Go ahead, Christy. All right. So starting at verse 20. Early in the morning, they left for the desert of Tekoa. As they set out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, listen to me, Judah and the people of Israel, have faith in the Lord your God and you will be upheld. 
have faith in his prophets and you will be successful. Mm -hmm. After consulting the people, Jehoshaphat appointed men to sing to the Lord and to praise him for the splendor of his holiness mm -hmm. as they went out at the head of the army saying, give thanks to the Lord for his love endures forever. As they began to sing and praise, the Lord set ambushes against the men of Ammon and Moab and Mount, si uh, Mount Seir who were invading Judah and they were defeated. I didn't hear nothing about no swords. <laughs> I didn't hear nothing about no shields. All I heard is that Jehoshaphat, King Jehoshaphat said, put the singers in front. Yes. Put the praisers in front. And they defeated, it didn't say one army of people. It said the Three. men of Ammon, yeah. Moab, and Mount Seir, all three of them. Yes. Defeated by praise. And look defeated. who set the ambushes. Who set the ambushes? The Lord. The Lord. Like you said, <laughs> it's anything about a sword, anything, anything about anything. I it just nothing. said, Arrows. the Lord your God. And then it said, praise him for the splendor of his holiness. And they went out ahead of the army. The Lord set ambushes. The Lord set ambushes. Woo! And I love he said, Jehoshaphat appointed the men to sing to the Lord and to praise him for the splendor of his holiness. The splendor of his holiness doesn't change ever. Oh, yes. So it we does not. always have something to praise God about. Jesus. And instead of us running to our swords of worry mm. and our shields of fear. Come on. The things that are not going to help us at all. And running to words of war. Praise. Yes. I dare. I dare. I dare you. I double dog dare you. The next time you feel yourself in a battle to do Praise. one thing, just start praising God. Praise him for the splendor of his holiness. Just, just start praising him. And I'm telling you, you will see chains break. You will see worry disappear. Hallelujah. You will see fear dissipate. Praise Hallelujah. Him. I double dog dare you. Praise him and see Hallelujah. what happens and see what happens. Send us an email. We'd love to hear about your testimony. Absolutely. I mean, praise him. And you know what? And, and I love these verses because it's a reminder too. Like you said, I mean, you know, you're praising him. It defeats the enemy and it tells you even how the enemy is going to be defeated. It's not you. <laughs> it's not your power. It's his power and his might because it says what? Hallelujah. The Lord set mm -hmm. ambushes. Set the ambushes. They praised first. Amen. And God got him. Like in the points you made, India, it wasn't just one army. It was three. I mean, mm -hmm. our Lord can do so much more than we can. Oh, you know, you're, mm -hmm. you may be praising him about or thinking about or praying about or be wrestling with maybe one thing. You know, praise him. Hallelujah. Like India said, yeah. You know what? <laughs> mm, <laughs> Taste and see that the Lord is good. I mean, <laughs> we dare you. I mean, double praise dog him. Dare start, you. start praising him. And we guarantee we don't know how. We don't mm. know what. We don't know when. We don't know how. Well, we know how. God. Mm -hmm. We don't know how he's going to do it. It don't matter. Guarantee you. You may be thinking about one situation. God is like, I got all five situations. You don't even know. I got the one. I got the situation you're praying about. And I got the other four you don't even know about. That's what I'm just like. God is so sovereign. He is so good. He Ooh. takes care of stuff that we're praising. Mm. We're thinking about. We're praying about. We're concerned about. And he takes care of stuff we don't even know about. Mm. 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 Danger seen and unseen. Mm. So, yeah, I'm with India. Praise mm. him. If I mean, let that him. come through your mouth, Woo! through mm, your tongue, mm, mm. and praise his, the splint, I love that, Indy, that phrase, mm. the splendor, the splendor of his, holiness. Of and, his holiness. and it's not just his holiness, that's why I love that phrase, Woo! it's not just mm. his holiness. Come on, girl. 
I mean, if you think about the word holy, holy is the ultimate. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's pure. Yes. It, you Come know, on. it gives you the, you know, reference of, you know, purity, of majesty, of glory. Yes. So think yes. about the purest thing, holy. Mm. How can you top holy? The splendor <laughs> of his holiness. I you mean, better, girl, you better preach. You better have I'm just like, that's Bro. like, you know, you an preach, adjective Christy. on top of an adjective. I'm like, <laughs> it's not just his holiness. That's one thing. It's the splendor of his the holiness. I don't know how you, how you get any better than that. <laughs> it's like, it's. It's not that God is just great. Yes. It's the greatness of his great. Hallelujah. I'm like, Hallelujah. What? I mean, so India, I read that in a totally different way too. I was like, when you said, I said, I've been sitting on this ever since you read it out. I mean, I was reading it mm -hmm. and then you mentioned it again and it's been marinating. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm like, wait, it's his holiness, God's holiness. Yeah. Not just, it's the splendor. <laughs> <laughs> what? What kind of holiness is this? I'm like. Oh, Jesus, you over here just, I mean, you are really working this word out today, Lord. It's not just his holiness, <laughs> praise for his holiness, but the splendor. There. Oh, I got to get off this word. Jesus. <laughs> splendor of his holiness. I'm, about to, I'm about to marinate on that all day long. I'm not going <laughs> to lie, y'all. I'll be carrying that around all day. I'm like, what? Not just your holiness, the splendor. The splendor. Of your holiness. Of your holiness. <laughs> Mm, like you said, Jesus. taste and see that he is good. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. Jesus. Woo, woo. And that's, look, and there's so many other points, so many other points Absolutely. that we could make about the power of praise, not just power, not just praise, but the power of praise. Praise is powerful. Yes. Praise breaks yokes. Praise gives you direct access to God. Praise changes you yes praise is about a relationship and praise defeats the enemy amen it That's does it. all those things and we could keep going on and on and on it breaks yokes i'm telling we could go on and on and on yes we could we could yeah we want to highlight once again christy if you don't mind running it back you know you always run it back for us <laughs> <laughs> Run it back for us. Give us those points we wanted to really highlight today. The four yes. points of the power of praise and give us those scripture references one more time. Absolutely. So the four truths about the power of praise. Number one, praise gives access to God. And your verse is Psalm 100 verse four. Number two, praise changes you. Mm -hmm. Verse is Proverbs 27, 21. Number three, praise is a relationship. It is not a ritual. And that is Psalm 22 and three. And the last one, the fourth one is praise defeats the enemy. Mm. And your verse is, I'm going to say, our yes. second Chronicles 20, 20 through 22. And if yes. you want to just hang on to one verse, you can say uh, second Chronicles 20 and 22. <laughs> Girl, and we just want to encourage you all. As far as the practical things, I love Christy said, use your mouth yes. when you pray. And then I love how Christy said, I woke up singing. Sing over your situation. Yes. Sing over your husband. Yes. Sing over your children. Yes. Sing over your depression. Mm. And what you'll notice is you'll be singing your way out of that depression. Come on, Jesus. God doesn't change. He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And we praise him for who he is. So guess what? You will never not have a reason to praise God. Amen. Because praise changes us, but God never changes. Yes. So you will always have a plethora of things to praise God about, no matter your situation, mm. no matter how you feel, no matter what's going on around you, no matter what happened yesterday, no matter what happened today, Come on. no matter what's going to happen tomorrow, you will always have a reason to praise God mm. because we praise him for who he is and who he is never changes. And as Christy said, not only can we praise him for his holiness, but the splendor of his holiness and we're gonna go ahead and wrap this thing up in prayer so come on y'all let's take it to the throne father god we come, come here today Jesus. to thank you and praise you yes. for this pod class father god whoo, we're just so stirred up today because as we have been 
speaking about and learning about Father God, there is always a reason to praise you. We mm. praise you for who you are and we thank you for what you do, what you did, what you're doing, what you've done, what you're going to do. And we praise you for who you are and who you are never changes. You yes. are Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. You are, Father God, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You are Jehovah Jireh, our provider. You are Jehovah Shalom, our peace. You are Adonai. Hallelujah. Mm, you are Jesus. Adonai. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm going to sit on that for a minute. Lord, you are holiness. And we praise you for the splendor of your hope. Yes. Father God, you are love. You are peace. You are joy. You are not just our provision, but you are the provider, as we said. We thank you and praise you today for being Jehovah Rapha, our healer. Thank you, Lord. thank you, God, for being the great physician that outweighs any physician we could ever go see. We thank you and praise you, Father God, today for everything you've done, for everything that you are. You are worthy of our praise. Yes. And we thank you for just the revelation you've given us about the power of praise, that the praises shall continually be in our mouth. Hallelujah for you. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you keep on keeping on. We're going to keep on keeping on. Come on, Jesus. Praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praising you for, Jesus, for just who you are. Hallelujah. Our commander, our chief, our guide. Yes. Everything that we need. Ooh, Lord, we could just sit here and go on and on and on and on and praise you for who you are. Thank if you. we had 10,000 tongues, it wouldn't be enough. Yes. And we praise you today for this revelation that you've given us about the power of praise and we will not sit upon it. We will take the practical things that you revealed and we will do them continually. Praise shall continually be in our miles. Oh, yes. magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. In Jesus' mighty and Jesus matchless name. name, we pray and we praise. Yes. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. Woo. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. The power thank of you, praise. Lord. The power of praise. Hey, man. And so India, if people are wanting to stay in contact with us, how can they stay in contact with us? There's a couple of ways you can do it. Um, as we said, we double dog dared you earlier to go on and try to pre just when you're in a problem situation, a battle, praise God. We, we double dog dared you. So if you want to share with us what happens after you praise God in a, in a battle, you can email us at Ladies in waiting 3 at gmail.com. Uh, if you also want to kind of be around a community of women who love to praise the Lord and you're on Facebook, you can become a member of our private Facebook group. Uh, you can search for ladies in waiting private mm -hmm. Facebook group. We also have a website, uh, uh, liwministries.com is our website. And we also have a uh, small group of women that are very serious about wanting to uh, be disciples of Christ and become disciplers of Christ. If that is you, we invite you to be a part of that. We have a monthly Zoom meeting. Uh, we encourage one another. and We are embarking upon a year together. We'll be starting another group coming up soon. But if you mm -hmm. can't wait, you just email us. Email us at ladiesinwaiting03 at gmail.com. And we'll definitely see how we can get you connected and ready to go with those of us who are pressing in uh, to be like Christ and to help others do the same. Amen. Amen. Thank you, India. I appreciate that because, you know, I, for whatever reason, I always blank out. I'm like, okay, wait. Then I always want to mismatch the email with the website. But anyway, that's just me. So <laughs> <laughs> we thank you so thank much you, for joining to us today. We thank you so much for just, woo, yes, and joining us in this pod class. And so we will see you next time we do our next pod class. So have a fantastic day. Thanks, everybody. Be Bye. blessed. And don't forget to always be a servant leading the, leading way. the way. Thanks, everybody.